Hey, it's me again. Today's review is going to be on G.I. Joe Classified Series Wave 2 Gung Ho. Let's take a look at the figure. Now, he, he does have look, good legs, that's how he looks in the original comics, I think. Now, if you may not know, there's a new G.I. Joe game coming out this month, which is going to be one of my birthday presents this year. The next one is going to be Cobra Commander, and I don't know about, about Wave 3, though, like I said. And, um, I have him with the other Joes right here that I have right now, I have you for you guys. And, um, he has quite a bit of weapons there, a vest, and a hat, which I'll get into right now. For accessories, he has his vest you can take off. He also has his um, communicator and elbow pad. He also comes with his couple with his um, grenade launcher, shotgun, and assault rifle. Now, for a ticket, oh, there's one more thing right here. He also has on his chest. <laughs> you may notice he painted a chest, he painted a, an eagle there on his chest right there. May he? Th I may think he's a marine from the United States Army before being transferred to G.I. Joe. Which I think. For articulation, Gung Ho has shoulder, ab, hand, knee, foot, leg, elbow, head, and hand movement. But overall, this figure is fantastic to have, but I'll sign them with some of these Joes right here in a Here's second. Gung Ho with all the Joes he has right now. Now, um, we have all the Joes that I have, well, except for Wave 3. They may be including, um, Storm Shadow, Rigor Storm Shadow, Quick Kick, Flint, Dusty. I think those are the figures I'm, they might release. Or perhaps, in way, and probably Wave 4, like Lady J. Um,. Scarlet with a different outfit, Gung Ho with a different outfit, Snake Eyes with his katana sword, a different katana sword, um, Roadblock with his um, heavy equipment, or perhaps Duke with the Raker Army Ranger uniform. So I'm probably I'm guessing that I'm probably I'm guessing going to make those type of figures the next year or a couple of years from now. But but for now let's go with these guys for now. But overall, this figure is fantastic to have. To have. You're a fan of G.I. Joe, um, the comic books, TV shows, or anything like that. This is a great figure to get. Um, the next time I'll be doing the Cobra Island figures very soon. But this is not going to happen anytime soon for a while. But I'll probably get them for you, for myself to review for you guys. But, so any t so at this time, thank you for watching this video and see you next time and this is Jerry Paulson Sand signing off and see you next time.